there was pressure on the back to the extent that it was compressing the back, the, the more compression, the more it would have interfered. But there was pressure on the back while there was pressure on the neck. The neck pressure was severe, as can be seen uh, uh, on the video and the, the pressure he put on his feet, on his foot. So that uh, uh, that's why he died. pressure on the back pushes up the, the liver in, under the diaphragm so the diaphragms can function. In order to breathe, to inhale and exhale, the diaphragms have to go up and down, uh, normally about 10 to 12 times a minute. When there's pressure on the back, that pre prevents the diaphragms from moving uh, when a person is in the prone position. And that's why uh, he said, uh, Floyd said, I can't breathe. I can't breathe because he couldn't inhale. He couldn't inhale. And unfortunately, many police are under the impression that if somebody talks, they're breathing. That's not true. I'm talking to you now and I'm not breathing. I'm talking. I could say, uh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Two things happening here. One, he couldn't inhale. Two, the uh, lungs weren't getting oxygen from uh, breathing in, and the blood vessels, the carotid arteries in particular, bringing blood to the brain, uh, were didn't have much oxygen in them, and their their um, blood flow to the brain was impaired. There was also marks on his nose and fa face uh, that would indicate that at some point they were pressed against the ground, uh, uh, the uh, roadway, uh, which would uh, impair uh, breathing too. So these were combinations of things that prevented him from breathing. And within less than four minutes, he was lifeless. And when he was lifeless, as can be seen on the uh, uh, video, uh, he wasn't moving, he wasn't breathing. When the EMS got there a few minutes later, he had no pulse. He had a cardiac arrest. They shocked him. Didn't work. They brought him to the hospital and minutes later he's pronounced dead. At the hospital he's pronounced dead, but he died while his neck was being compressed and before the EMS got there. When there's pressure placed on the back in the prone position, and this is taught to all uh, police officers, they are told you know, uh, that Pressure on the back can cause death. The reason that pressure on the back is concerned to police officers, that's usually the position the person is in when they're trying to put handcuffs on somebody who's resisting. They put them face down on the ground and try to get the wrists together to get the handcuffs on, pressing on the back, and death. many deaths have occurred in that position alone without pressure on the neck. Uh, so that uh, pressure on the back in the prone position can cause death because the person can't breathe, but pressure on the neck uh, uh, prevents the blood flow and airflow from going uh, to the brain and into the lungs. And uh, that alone can cause death. So you have two things here that can cause death. The more severe, severe in this instance from the video uh, was the pressure on the neck, but there was also the pressure on the back would have contributed and is the more likely kind of pressure that causes somebody to say, uh, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Even a small amount of pressure would have contributed uh, to his inability to breathe. And I think there was at least some pressure, which is why when there's that pressure to the back, that's when a person knows he can't breathe because he can't inhale. The pressure to the neck doesn't necessarily cause that uh, type of uh, panic feeling.